and welcome to Stitching and Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Right, I'm going to do a craft fair table setup. Um, I have a craft fair tomorrow. It's only three hours long. So we're gonna do this and hope that it's worth it. Because I don't know. And anyway, um, but yeah, I have some one tomorrow. I want to just get things set up because I only have one table and so it's been a long time since I've only had one table so I want to see what we're going to put up there um it's eight feet long and I can have one rack so that's cool but otherwise I don't know so I'm going to set the things up I have a plan for the tablecloths and all that because supposedly they provide the table we're going to take our table just in case um because it's been kind of different this one um I've heard things and then things have changed so just in case we're gonna take it and then like I said take the rack with two shelves or two racks basically um taking LuLaRoe crochet the kiddos are taking things and yeah so um I'm gonna have inventory and stuff like extra things underneath the table hoping to have to get into that I don't know but anyway I'm gonna go and just see what want it to look like right now so I'll do kind of like a quick run through thing it'll probably just be sped up but anyway let's go set up a table oh push the button yes okie doke so this is what we're working with I have the six foot table and <laughs> um yeah two tablecloths on there because it's eight feet so I know I'm gonna have to have at least two I want some kind of cute something to go in here, um, but I don't know what. <clears throat> I have one, um, um, I have one kind of like runner that I thought about putting on, but it's crochet, so I feel like it kind of takes away from everything. I don't know, but I'm going to use the tubs just because I have just the one table for like stacking. I'm going to use these tubs that have the items in there and put these over the top. Um, anyway, put these tablecloths over the top, use those for decoration. I've done that a few times, like, for height and things. Um, I have this little deal which you can't really see because of the tapestry that I'm going to hang the keychains and things off of. And I got these out of the closet for some extra little tubs. So, alrighty, we shall see how it all goes. <laughs> okay, dope. So I was... Filming a bit of a crochet rambling, so I'm just going to cut that up into different pieces, I think. Um, into like different clips, because I have several things that I didn't ever show you guys that I made for this fair. Um, so anyway, but this is what I have <laughs> so far, which isn't really anything. But I did grab this from the closet. I was going to pop in front of y'all. How you doing? Messy craft fair prep Ashley here. Um, but yeah, I just grabbed this. This is where, obviously, the keychains hang the keychains hang out and then um anyway <laughs> like some of the mushrooms these are like the cheaper little items like little kiddo grabs right here and then um i have pickles chicken nugs and pop tarts that i want to put somewhere and then i have i made some strawberries um and i want to put them somewhere as like a food deal all together i'm going to use these for height, so I'm going to take the things out, cover them with, oh gosh, with these tablecloths, and build the things up. Hopefully it'll look cute, I don't know. This, these are just like sterilized cubes that snap together. I'm going to do something with that and then be able to stack things on top out. And then this, um, so this table is six feet long. There'll be another two feet, I hope. Um, that the kids can put their stuff on, and this is B's still for her stickers and necklaces, so I just have it set up here. Um, at this side of the closet, I did have some other stuff that I needed that I thought about using, some crochet stuff and everything, but I'm not going to, so let's put that back in the closet. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but this is what we have. <laughs> not really a lot, but this is it. So, anyway, 
right, see you all in a minute. Alrighty, so this is what I have so far. Um, I still have this other tub to put right here on the table. <clears throat> but this is the one with like the bigger crochet items. Um, the keychains, put the little frog up there. And then I have to figure something out for the food. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I think I'm going to put beanies right here in front. So I have some just like hats right here in the front since it's getting colder. Um, maybe scarves right here because that would kind of work. I have them rolled up like cakes of yarn. So it's like I could stack those and then put beanies right here. Um, I said, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the food because my plan was to put it in these. But I thought this looks kind of cute with like the little bees in there, a little bee central. Um, and I have several more bees that I made that I'm just going to put, like, I think in a little bucket and set up here. So anyway, this is what we have so far. So, so this is going to be beanie zone, I think. Um, this little dude's kind of in the back, the little jellyfish back there, but that's all right. Cause people will be able to, I think anyway, be able to come up and see him. That was the plan. Those little like tentacles on... <clears throat> That side kind of catch people's eyes same with this dude was kind of the thought with that sorry if i'm making y'all dizzy but <laughs> i'm sorry okay anyway so this is what we have so far so i don't know what to do with it we'll see and then this tub for things so all right okie doke so this is what i came up with before this um I was pretty much home alone, so I didn't feel as awkward talking on here. So now we're just going to do voiceovers. But anyway, this is what I came up with. So the one like you saw it, um, the animals and things up there. But the scarves and the hats, which I really like how that looks. The baby hats in the front, the one little tub of the little bitty toys. Um, and I will do something else with the Pop-Tarts and stuff. Y'all will see here in a minute. So these are all like the large animals up on top of the tub right there um i put all of the little foods and things in a bunt cake pan a bunt cake pan which i was just i thought that was too cute i'm not sure if it is but personally i thought so anyway the snakes um all these little dills the wuzzes which are the little guys you can buy the habitat for those are so fun um uh, let's see headbands and scrunchies these are all like the small amigurumi succulents all of the things so kind of a nice flowy table um it looks ridiculously crowded but i assure you everything's organized and somehow makes sense and so this is what i have um here in just a second it's going to be a clip of the actual like at the craft fair booth i will come back tomorrow with a video of how <laughs> the craft fair bum 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 went <laughs> but for right now this is it and i absolutely love it this is one of my favorite like single table setups so yes and this is what we have this is what was at the craft fair so uh miss p was my videographer she did a phenomenal job but yeah this is what we came up with like i said and i'll put another video up for you guys um showing how everything came out how the craft fair went all of that so and it kind of went to a random different thing right there that's how long the clip was <laughs> so now you know but anyway thank you guys so very much for watching the craft fair table setup i appreciate y'all i hope you have a wonderfully wonderfully blessed day please stay safe and i will talk to y'all real soon thank you guys